such an interesting point is that the very first person to ever had it performed on them was, on them was the doctor who invented it. He performed the procedure on himself without anesthesia while watching his own heart on X on uh, on X-ray. In 1929, a 25-year-old uh, 25-year-old German surgical intern named Werner Forsmann hypothesized that a catheter could be carefully uh, passed into the human heart. His superiors and the entire medical establishment forbade him from attempting such a dangerous and crazy experiment on a patient. And that third Forsman decided to use the only patient he had full consent from, himself. In a secret and an anosorizide, anosorizide procedure, he persuaded a nurse, all over, I suppose, to help him. He made an incision in his own arm, threatened and threaded a thin ureteral, ureteral catheter, a tube designed for the blood, huh? 65 centimeters through his veins, all the way into the right atrium on his own beating heart. He then calmly walked, actually the nurse was fixed, huh? and can, did not, can do nothing, and could do nothing. So he then calmly walked up several flights of stairs to the urological department to have an x-ray taken to prove that catheter was really, indeed, inside the heart. Crazy, huh? Unbelievable act of courage or recklessness. He risked his life, risking a fatal arrhythmia, perforation of his heart, or I don't know, a massive blood clot, all to prove his theory. He was fired, of course, not praised. For this incredible breakthrough, he was not celebrated at all. Then we can understand the superiority. Uh, he was fired from his job and ridiculed by the German medical community for his reckless stunt. His career in cardiology was effectively over. And Nobel Prize, decades later, yes, he eventually became a neurologist. And he was, and it wasn't until 27 years later. In 1956, after his tactics, had been refined by others and had revolutionized cardiology, actually revolutionized, uh, that the world finally recognized his genius. Werner Frostman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology of Medicine, or Medicine, for the very act that had once cost him his job. <laughs>